really imagined myself living anywhere else than in New York. I lived and breathed it like a true New Yorker. Then life brought me here to France. Well, my French husband did. And now I live just west of Paris in a small village bordering the Seine where the Impressionist movement was born. Hi, I'm Cici Agustin, an American artist living the dream I never knew I had until I got here. My parents were artists, so I grew up around constant creativity. I mostly learned technique from my dad. He was always eager to share with me his love of art and how to make it. Uh, once I graduated high school, I rebelled and majored in psychology with a minor in fine arts at university, rather than follow a more artistic path. However, art would claim its role eventually when I ended up enrolling at NYU's art therapy master's program. It was a perfect mix of my talents. I worked 15 years in the field, working in hospitals and psychiatric centers, and helping others heal through art. I had never been so good at something, and I loved working with people. Of course, I never really left a lot of time to make art myself, and it really wouldn't happen until I moved here to France. My artistic path started taking shape when my husband started his photography business, Studio Augusta. We worked together from time to time, shooting events, and I had my own clients. And then one day he approached me with a project for a client. Um, he needed a specific backdrop, hand painted. I had never done anything on such a big scale. It was like two meters by three meters, but it was like an unleashing. I don't think I've stopped since. Often I begin with just a feeling and a choice of colors. Um, but it's really rare to have a really clear idea for a piece. I use two techniques primarily. For my abstract art, it involves a very wet process, which can lead to unpredictable results, but I kind of like it. Sometimes I use fans to try to manipulate it or I add some paint as it dries. But in the end, the paint and water do as they please. And all I can do is just wait until it dries. My collages um, came from the need not to throw anything away. I hate waste, especially with art materials. I guess it dates back from the time as an art therapist when we had a very limited budget for supplies in our department, needing to make most of what we had, and often, um, you know, scavenging for materials elsewhere. I like to stretch my own canvases, and I had all these cuttings left over, so most were too small to stretch, so I thought of a way to use them differently. Rio, another part two artist, whom I met before the birth of the collective, had all these finished canvases that were either cut up or had tacked on other materials onto it. I think it was the first time that it dawned to me to use a canvas other than a 2D project. And that's how I got into collage making. Why do I paint birds? <laughs> I never had a love of birds beforehand. But uh, during the first confinement, I developed a love for them. I have never seen, I had never seen them so up close. Their song was just so lovely to listen to every morning when I opened up the windows. It's like I saw them for the first time. Their colors, their size, and feet of flying on me. And they crept into my collages. Sometimes I need a second pair of eyes, or even a third pair, and that is where my family comes. Much like my dad sharing his love of art with me, I too share it with my daughters, especially my oldest, who's my little prodigy. <laughs> we have the same aesthetic, and when I need to check in to see if I need to stop, not to overdo it, or really add more, uh, she usually confirms my thoughts. Um, art can be a very solitary experience, but it's even richer when you can share it.
Being a part of a collective as an artist is important to me. When you are with the right group of people, you lift each other up. You inspire one another and you make the artistic journey together, however, each on their own path. As a women artist, it's even more significant. We've been fighting for a place in society for decades, probably centuries. Juggling our many roles, especially if we've decided to raise a family, it just makes it easier to share that with other women who get it. I mean, we don't treat each other as mothers or wives, but just who we are, a woman and an artist. The kinship is undeniable. Of course, then there are different personalities you have to deal with, but that's enough.